Are you worried that uh, you're talking about it a lot, but we've not tested it, and it might start giving people false hope? Yeah, yes. The, uh, <laughs> that's a tough question uh, and an awkward one for me, of course, but I tried my best to answer it. We have internally our own debates about when we should tell this one and that one and another one, but we were very worried about leaks. And uh, colleagues have given me advice, you better get this out before it's misinterpreted. And we've talked to Dr. Redfield and, uh, I mean, for me, Bob and Tony, and we've told them everything. And then we've told everybody, you can imagine, in the FDA. So now it's not exactly, it, it, and we needed to spark the interest and to get the approval. So it's all over. Now I've talked to yesterday, the dean of our medical school, the president of the university. Um, do you think this would, is not out there by now? I think people are, are discussing it already. So we felt we should be getting it out in an intelligent way because we can't just spring it out in a week or two. And here it is, right? We need the support of people. We need the understanding of people.